Ever wondered why high-achieving women can struggle to be as successful in love as they are in their careers? It's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? They're ruling the business world, breaking glass ceilings and taking names. But when it comes to love, well, things can get a bit more complicated. You see, societal expectations and pressures have a way of creeping into the most private corners of our lives. We've all heard of the alpha woman. She's assertive, independent, driven and successful. She's the boss, the leader, the go-getter. But these very traits that propel her to the top in the corporate world can sometimes act as a double-edged sword in her personal life. Take a look at this Business Insider article. It talks about high-achieving women feeling the need to impress men on dates. It's as if they're in a perpetual job interview, selling their accomplishments and skills. But love isn't a job, and dates aren't interviews. This constant need to impress often attracts more passive partners, creating an imbalance. Here's a funny way to think about it. Picture a high-powered CEO, let's call her Jane. Jane is used to taking charge, making decisions, and getting things done. Now, imagine Jane on a romantic dinner date trying to turn off her work mode. She's analyzing the restaurant's business model, critiquing the service, and mentally calculating the profit margin on the wine list all while her date is trying to talk about his favorite movies. Sounds like a rom-com in the making, doesn't it? So it seems that being a boss in the boardroom doesn't always translate to being a boss in the heart room. But it's not all about power suits and board meetings. Let's talk about vulnerability. The word vulnerability may make you cringe a bit, perhaps even making you want to run for the hills. It's often seen as a sign of weakness, a chink in the armor, something to be avoided at all costs. But what if I told you, vulnerability is actually a superpower in the realm of relationships? Take a moment to think about your closest friendships. The ones where you feel seen, heard and valued. What makes them so special? It's the shared experiences, the ups and downs, the laughter and yes, the tears. It's the moments when you've let your guard down, revealing your true self, warts and all. That's vulnerability in action. Now let's translate this to romantic relationships. Relationship coach Sammy Wunder suggests that high-achieving women often feel the need to impress on dates, leading the conversation and inadvertently attracting more passive partners. But what if, instead of trying to impress, we lead with vulnerability? This doesn't mean spilling your darkest secrets on the first date, or confessing your secret love for cheesy romantic movies. Well, unless that's your thing, then by all means, go ahead. No, it's about showing up as your authentic self, allowing your partner to see beyond the achievements and the success. It's about embracing self-love and defining your worth beyond your professional accomplishments. So next time you find yourself on a date, instead of leading with your latest business triumph, why not share a personal story or a passion that lights you up? You might be surprised at the deeper connection that forms when you let your guard down. And remember, it's not all about being strong and invincible. It's about being human. It's about showing up not as the power suit wearing, board meeting dominating professional, but as the woman who enjoys a good book, loves to dance in the rain, or, yes, even has a soft spot for cheesy romantic movies. Remember, it's okay to swap your power suit for your pyjamas sometimes and just be you. Now, let's take a quick break from the love talk. Have you ever wanted to quit your 9 to 5 and become a full-time creator? Imagine being your own boss, setting your own hours and best of all doing something you love every single day. Well, we've got just the thing for you. Welcome to the Modern World Dynamics YouTube AI Masterclass. This isn't your typical online course, it's a game changer. We're talking about transforming your YouTube channel or even starting one from scratch and growing it to over 100,000 subscribers. Sounds impossible. Well, we've done it for four other channels. Success isn't a fluke. It's a science. But it's not just about subscriber numbers. It's about financial freedom too. With our masterclass, you'll learn how to generate passive income every month for only three days of work. That's right, just three days. And how much are we talking about? How about 10 grand a month? That's more than most people make working full time. Now you might be thinking, AI, isn't that the stuff that's supposed to take over the world? Well, this might be the only kind of AI that doesn't want to take over the world, but help you conquer your own. We're harnessing the power of artificial intelligence to revolutionize content creation. And the best part, you can be one of the first to ride this wave. Don't get left behind in the digital revolution. 
So if you're ready to take control of your life and start making money while you sleep, check out the link in the description below. Because let's face it, the only thing better than making money is making money while you sleep. Your future self will thank you for it. Now, back to our high achieving women. How can they find the same success in love as they do in their careers? Picture this. A successful lawyer, let's call her Jane, walks into a date like she's entering a courtroom. She's prepared with a list of questions, ready to cross-examine her potential partner. Her date, however, isn't on trial. He's there to enjoy a meal and get to know her. Jane's approach, while effective in the courtroom, might not yield the best results in the dating scene. It's a bit like using a hammer to open a bottle of wine, isn't it? According to the Business Insider article we're referencing today, high-achieving women like Jane often feel the need to impress their dates, leading to conversations that are more like job interviews than intimate connections. Instead, relationship coach Sammy Wunder suggests leading with your feminine energy and allowing yourself to be vulnerable in love. This doesn't mean you have to abandon your achievements or ambitions. Instead, it's about balancing your professional prowess with your personal life. Here's a simple tip. Leave your work persona at work. When you're on a date, be yourself, not your job title. Show your date your passions, your hobbies, your favorite books or movies, and let them see the person behind the success. And remember, you're not there to impress them. You're there to find a partner who compliments you, someone who isn't intimidated by your success, but is inspired by it. You're looking for an equal, not an admirer. The right partner will be attracted to your strength and ambition, as well as your vulnerability and openness. So remember, you don't have to choose between success in love and success in your career. You can have your cake and eat it too. Or in this case, you can have your contracts and your cuddles too. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear your experiences. Have you faced the high achiever paradox in your love life? Share your stories in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, Modern World Dynamics. Stay tuned for more insights and advice on navigating the complexities of our modern world.